how bad do you want it deep divers? How bad do you want to manifest what you've been telling me you want to manifest? So bad, Ralph. I know, right? Like deep divers ever wake up with a burning desire just to have something? Well, deep divers, you can get it, but you have to want it as much as you want that good ass prana. Do you want it, deep divers, as much as you want that good ass prana? Ooh, you couldn't say yes, I do, because that good ass prana is pretty, pretty kick ass. It is pretty kick ass, I know. <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Gorgeous day. Just to be in nature, I just feel so privileged. We're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I'm sending you tons of good ass energy. Take that, take that, take that. Now, deep divers, it's time to manifest. It's time to upgrade our mind, our body, even the cat down the road. We are getting a new cat down the road, deep divers. Just kidding. The old one is good. Enough, right? <laughs> How to become a high achiever. Secrets of high achievers. The psychology of high achievers, deep divers. It's time to get it. I got a question that came to me. Ralph, I love your videos. What are some of the things that high achievers do that I'm not doing? Because Ralph, I've been in the same shoddy position for the last two years. Nothing is changing in my life. I mean, I've got a good paying job, but I'm not happy. I know I could be doing so much more. Ralph, I see you as a high achiever. Thank you. You're far too kind, right? But what is the psychology of high achievers? Well, deep divers, buckle your seatbelt because Kansas is going bye-bye and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so wonderful deep divers, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey become a high achiever. Let me share with you the secrets of the greatest high achievers in planet Earth. Let me share with you the psychology of the greatest high achievers on planet Earth. Now, a high achiever is somebody who is always in the process of becoming their greatest version. They are always deep divers outdoing themselves. Like they run the 100 meters in like 12 seconds, then the next day it's 11 seconds, then they actually beat the world record. They're just dreaming about that. It's never ever gonna happen. Actually, it could happen. Get your running shoes on. Deep divers. <laughs> How to become a high achiever and trust the universe. The problem is you think you have time. That's the trouble. That was my trouble. I was in big trouble back in the day, Deep Divers. Because I would be having a vision. Like, hey, I want to inspire the world next year. Actually, in, in three years time, I'm going to do it. Then I would just go about my day. I was procrastinating Deep Divers because I thought I had time. No Deep Divers you don't have time because there is no time. There is only now. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. If not now, when? Oh, baby. If not now, deep divers, when? If you're not working on your business right now, if you're not in the process of becoming your greatest version right now, seven day vegan challenge, if you're not upgrading your diet right now, then when is it going to happen? Because high achievers, the psychology of high achievers is that, hey, carpe diem, seize the day. It's now or never. If not now, when? 
Don't tell me about next week, Deep Divers. Ralph, I want to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, you told me that on the Instagram live like last year. What happened? Well, uh, no, forget about it, Deep Divers. Explain to the cat down the road, right? <laughs> that was me, though. Always saying I'll do it later. I'll do it next week. I'll do it next year. And shit never, ever gets done. Deep divers, anything you want to do, do it right now. Do you know how many times deep divers, like this was back in the day, I would be setting up to record in nature. And I'm like, oh, I got here nice and early. I would be talking to people. And I would waste like two hours before I actually started recording. And then guess what? It started to rain. So I learned. Ralph, if not now, when? Because it's going to piss it down. Do it right now. Just do it. <laughs> you see, Deep Divers, what's helped me along my journey to become a high achiever and trust the universe, the psychology of high achievers, is that there is no overnight success. There is no overnight success. The person who told you there was overnight success was a trust fund baby. <laughs> because deep divers smart work or hard work is still work you got to put in those 10,000 hours on your dream you got to work on your dream every single day are you willing to do that do you want it as much as you want that good ass prana baby because if you do you will become a high achiever. You will level up. You will become your greatest version. You will become financially wealthy and mentally healthy. That even rhymes. Financially wealthy and mentally healthy, right? Like the cat down the road. I realize deep divers and this whole journey of me sharing, you've seen me. If you, if you are a deep diver, which you probably are, you know me from back in the day when I was in the heart of nature wearing just a black shirt right beautiful afro i need to grow it back actually right <laughs> and what happened i was doing it day in day out fast forward fast forward deep divers i got a youtube gold award i'm living the dream life because i realized there was no overnight success i loved what i was doing and i love what i'm doing Forget about the awards. Forget about the accolades. Forget about the money. Love what you do. That is the psychology of high achievers. Because a lot of people just want the trophy. They don't want to run the race. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Everybody wants to hang out at the finish line. Nobody wants to run the race. Well, you got to learn how to run the race. And guess what, deep divers? The psychology of high achievers is that it's not a sprint. It's a marathon over 26 miles. You coming with me? No? Tomorrow? Okay. Procrastination. <laughs> Life is a marathon. That's the psychology of high achievers. That's the mindset to level up in this matrix and overcome it and create a whole new world for yourself. You are going to have to realize every single day there is no shortcut. It's a marathon. Deep divers. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm going to be making videos, I swear to you, at 100 years old. How do, how do you know that, Ralph? Because I'm a Pisces, I'm psychic deep divers, right? I'm going to be here for a very, very long time. In fact, I'm immortal. I'm going to be here forever. How about that? But I know there is no overnight success. So every single day I wake up deep divers. I'm like, Ralph, what can you learn? Because you don't know everything. Learn from somewhere. Learn, learn from someone, Ralph, who is where you want to be. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. And nobody knows everything. Everybody. I don't care if you're the best mathematician in the world. You can still learn something from a painter. If you are a painter, you can learn something from an architect. If you're an architect, you can learn something from a chef. So increase your knowledge every single day. I'm talking about 
watching my videos, of course, listening to podcasts, of course, right? Reading books, but also life. Traveling has really helped me become a high achiever. Getting experience, world experience in different cultures has helped me to become a well-rounded person, deep divers. I tell you, how to become a high achiever, oh baby. And trust the universe, the psychology of high achievers. Focus. Were you looking at me or the background? <laughs> focus, focus, focus. When they actually ask people like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, what's the secret to your success? How did you become a billionaire? in this matrix. They said, focus. You see, some people stunt on the gram, they flex on the gram. Hey, look at my car, my Rolls Royce. It's not really mine, but I want you to believe it is. <laughs> All of that time you're spending flexing, you could have actually written a book mm, about how to not flex. Slow motion this side, mm, and actually start manifesting. <laughs> you see, deep divers, I've realized this plain and simple, focus. A lack of focus is the death of all potential. The reason why Deep Divers, I've nearly got 2 million subscribers on this channel is because I'm focused. I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm committed. Highly committed to helping millions of people every single day eat a whole bunch of grapes. How about that? How about that Deep Divers? Are you committed to what you're doing right now? You see, the problem with distraction is that you're not even committed to that. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. You're like, I'm watching this, I'm watching that. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You see, you're not even committed to your distractions. So why not today, deep divers, be committed to something that sets your heart on fire in the most beautiful way, that makes your heart glow in the dark, and that's pretty cool, right? How to become a high achiever, deep divers, and trust the universe. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. You have to sacrifice, deep divers. I'm telling you from personal experience, I had to sacrifice. What did you sacrifice, Ralph? I had to sacrifice my Saturday and Sundays to make videos. When everyone was saying, hey, Ralph, come to the beach. I'm like, yeah, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta make this video first. Why, Ralph? Do it on Monday. I said, nah, because there's only now. That passion I had for sharing back in the days, deep divers, back in the day, Saturday and Sunday is why I got a YouTube go to war today. I put in the 10,000 hours and more. Therefore, I'm reaping the benefits. Do something today, deep divers, your future self will thank you for. That's the psychology of high achievers. And realize the day you plant the seed, oh baby, is not the same day you will eat the grapes. You will eat the fruit, deep divers. It's gonna take time. And the psychology of high achievers, where normal people in this matrix want everything fast and easy. High achievers want it slow and worthwhile because they realize anything worth having doesn't come easy. There are sacrifices that have to be made. Deep divers, I used to know a singer and she's like, actually I've spent $80,000, over $80,000 on singing lessons. That's a big sacrifice of her money, of her time, of her energy. But she had a dream, Ralph Smart, when I'm in nature, I'm sacrificing time. I could actually be with you. Where are you? Where are you right now? In an office, actually, I'll, I'll stay in nature right now, okay? I'm good here, right? I had to sacrifice my Saturday and Sunday. I had to sacrifice being in front of the computer editing videos for years. Wait a minute, I've got to do that today. Oh, well. It's worth it, deep divers. Why? Because this has changed my life forever. You see, I make plans 10 years ahead from now. I make plans 20 years ahead from now. I call it the 20 year plan. I say in the next 20 years, 
I'm going to have an even bigger bunch of grapes in my hands. Full of resveratrols. Good for your heart. In 20 years time, I'm still going to be inspiring millions of people. It's just that the format is going to be different. Mm, I like the sound of that. Right? It's just going to be more expansive. We're going to expand even more. Most people only live and think for today. Today I just want to eat, go to the toilet, and that's it. Go to work, come home, that's it. High achievers are making plans five years ahead, 10 years ahead, 15 years ahead, 20 years ahead. And once again, how the law of attraction works, if you can see yourself there, you are already there. Hmm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Visualize to materialize. If you can see yourself there, you are already there. Deep divers. How to become a high achiever and trust the universe. Realize this today. Fuel. You don't put milk inside a Lamborghini. It won't take you anywhere. Fast anyway. <laughs> With our bodies, a lot of us put the wrong fuel inside of our bodies and then we try to work on our dream. Now we're exasperated, we're tired, fatigued. High achievers invest in healthy foods because they know they've got to be here for a long time. They invest in the maintenance of their vehicle. So that means seven day vegan challenge, eating delicious cranberries, eating delicious pears and apples and oranges and getting all the antioxidants the vitamin c you need every single day so this vehicle is good to go it's fully charged and it can take you to anywhere you need to be with maximum energy high achievers realize that it all starts with what they are eating because if you're not eating right chances are you're not thinking right oh baby how to become a high achiever, deep divers, and trust the universe. The psychology of high achievers. There are layers to this shit, deep divers, and there are levels to this shit. Let's talk about the layers. When you see me making videos, do you even know what goes into making one video? Neither, neither do I. Deep divers is a lot of work, but I love to do it, so it's not work. I have fun doing it. But that's the psychology of high achievers. They realize that it's the small details that actually make up the bigger things. And if you take care of the small details, everything will take care of itself. So it's not about being in a rush to do something. It's about taking your time every single day. How can I do this in the best way, the best quality, right? And this is one layer two layers three layers like when you see someone deep divers do you know how complex that person is they're smiling at you but underneath it they're like thinking of the fifth dimension and things like that right they're very complex <laughs> so there are layers to this shit and there are levels there are certain things you need to do before you can manifest one of them is start investing in tools you need to become your greatest version what tools do I need right now that can help me go to the next level? For me, it was, hey, get a new camera, Ralph, so people can see me in 6K resolution, smiling. <laughs> do I look good? Thank you, deep divers, right? What tools do I need? I had to invest in books about how to become an author when I was writing my first book. What are some of the tricks from top authors? Right? So invest in tools you need right now that can help you level up. That's the psychology of high achievers. Also learn from other people's mistakes so you don't have to make them. Read autobiographies. Deep divers. First and foremost, in this matrix, you don't have to be anything other than you are because you are already good enough and you are already enough. If you can realize this today, deep divers, the psychology of high achievers is to not give up. It is perseverance. It is to go the extra mile. It is to count your blessings more than you count your problems. It is to realize one thing. You owe it to yourself to follow your heart because the universe reveals its secrets to those who dare to follow their hearts. High achievers are high calculated risk 
takers. High achievers are high calculating risk takers. If you're playing it safe all the time, you're going to be in a comfort zone with a cat down the road. And that's cool, but you want to come out of the comfort zone. <laughs> How to become a high achiever, deep divers and trust the universe. Realize this. Focus on what matters most. High achievers like myself and the cat down the road, or the cat down the road and I speak properly, right? I like this, deep divers. What is the most important thing to you right now? I want you to ask that question to yourself every single day. High achievers focus on that. Love is one of the most important things to me right now, as is health, as is happiness. So health, happiness, love, also wealth, because I want to live in abundance every single day with a whole bunch of grapes in my mouth. So focus on what matters the most to you and allow all the distractions to fall by the wayside. And the more you wake up early with a mission, like I say, when you wake up with an agenda, oh baby, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. When you put your heart and soul into everything you do, you are going to become a high achiever. When you stop being one-dimensional, a one-trick pony, when you can learn how to be versatile. You see, deep divers, when I make videos, you don't even know what I'm going to talk about next because I'm coming from different angles. Sometimes I make videos in nature, well, most of the time, then sometimes I make videos in the art gallery. I make videos in different countries, in Hawaii, in uh, Spain, and all over the place, right? <laughs> in the US, everywhere, in Ethiopia, everywhere, in Egypt, everywhere, in England, everywhere, in Spain, ev you said that, in France, everywhere, in Sierra Leone, everywhere. And of course, right here. <laughs> so deep divers, that's how to become a high achiever. Do what makes you happy the most. But today realize the man-made clock is ticking. <laughs> in this matrix anything you want to do do it right now because if not now when when you want it deep divers as much as you want that good ass prana then you will become a high achiever and then deep divers well you'll just say you'll just say you'll just say feel so good to be alive baby can i get a hello there beautiful deep divers were just Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been getting and rocking the amazing good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes. And if you've got a question, add me on Instagram at infinite waters. If you are a sexy model, woo, with a lot of heart, DM me on Instagram at infinite waters check out the new book deep divers for more information like this feel alive by ralph smart on amazon have a beautiful day deep divers peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you do more of what makes you happy if it's not making you happy stop doing it peace <laughs>